I hope that everyone is doing okay. So welcome to Vlogmas 2023 day one. I'm not going to lie, I'm going to be completely upfront and honest as I always endeavour to do on my channel. I will be filming a day ahead of Vlogmas. It's going to be a day behind. But I just wanted to be honest because, well, one, there's, well, there's no point in lying. I'm not a superwoman. <laughs> I think it's going to be pretty obvious that I'm not going to be able to. Last year I did. I don't know how I did it. I really don't know how I did it. And I don't know how people that do the dailies do it on the day. I really don't. I just don't. I literally don't. I had every intention of waking up at 6am so that I'd have a quick half an hour to get ready. And then I'd have a good hour and a half to do some sort of, I don't know, just some sort of start of vlogmas really but that went out the window because i was shattered and i kept snoozing my alarm i ended up getting up a quarter to seven it's now just gone half past seven so i'm not doing too bad i've still got half an hour till zeke get dro dropped off so not too bad at all so yes we're going to start off this mad december different to last year i looked back at some of my old videos cringing i hate doing that i Oh, do you ever do that where you have a video of yourself and you just think, what a lemon. <laughs> but I hope to still keep it authentic but light-hearted and a little bit of fun. I know Christmas is a really, really tough year for a lot of people. I personally love Christmas, but that's because I have my family around me. So I get that it's difficult for some people. I'm not going to um dis diminish that in any way shape or form but hopefully watching is a little bit of an escapism and you can become part of our family for december and yeah i i'm not gonna there isn't i'm not fancy there's not you know there's not gonna be extravagant things going on this i'm gonna have some baking as usual probably the same stuff I did last year to be honest with you my cinnamon rolls are a must um but last year i don't think you actually got to see a part of the process because I forgot to record something like that so I do a bit of baking as usual I'm trying to think what things I've got come I see I've got such a busy schedule like honestly such a busy schedule um I'm we're completely booked out already which is why I want to do the day before because even if you just get a 10 minute video of me waffling catching up with you all then it's better than nothing and the reason also I wanted to say about um, doing it a day earlier is because I don't want to open the calendar too early. So, if it's okay with you, I'm gonna. It's gonna be showing a day behind on the videos. Do you know what I mean? So tomorrow you will see me opening day one, etc. That might get a little bit confusing, but. And then at least, because I don't want to ask um, JJ and Martin to open, because JJ's got her, um, is it Soap and Glory? Let's get them muddled up, Soap and Glory. She's got that one. And I bought Martin a fabulous, fabulous um, advent calendar. It's from the Brew Company. So it's a coffee one. Oh my gosh, I'm going to share it with you. I will, I will get that out later and share that with you. It is honestly... I saw it um, and I just thought he just loves coffee. Well, we both do, but he's a real, like he loves his coffee. And I saw it and I thought, I can't not treat him to that. That's just fabulous. He literally gets, um, I'll show you, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll show you when I show you, because it's just, I'm just trying to explain it all and it's not the easiest thing. So yeah, I don't have a huge amount of, um, like anything fancy going on um we've got a busy weekend ahead because Lauren's wedding dress is in so we're going to to try that all on and discuss 
the alteration options because obviously she is pregnant that's all going really well yeah it was little amelia's birthday we had a love well she had a lovely lovely day lovely day she her um, jj and daniel took her and zeke to this fantastic soft play i think it was in northampton she had a fabulous day she's not very well though which is such a shame like i know everyone gets stinking colds and things but she's really struggling with it bless her little heart and then we got a chinese and watched the new trolls movie jj bought that i thought that was 20 quid i mean it's her birthday but 20 quid for a video not even a vid not a video but do you know what i mean like a download uh you get to keep it it's a you, you know she she did love it bless her she got spoiled rotten she but she, do you know what she she surprised me because most of the time you see kids that open it and they're, they're kind of like wow and then they kind of try to decide next present next present but she's really like taking in every little detail and oh it's just beautiful and little zeke was here when she was opening all of her presents and he was such a good boy honestly I was so proud he was just like Oh, what have you got, Mimi? Oh, you know, he's only so little himself. I'd see him like that was just adorable, absolutely adorable. I got my new dining room table and chairs, finally. Let me show you. I'm really, really happy with it. Like, it was a bit of a shock because there was such an empty space in there because there was a delay of getting it that I, I was worried that that was going to happen. You know, when you get rid of something that's massive to replace it for something a little bit more suitable, um... Let me just show you. I'm, I'm just, I'm so good at all the waffle, aren't I? So this is the um, table and chairs. I am really happy with it. It's tempered glass, which probably seems like such a stupid thing to have done with kids. But I feel like sometimes a big solid block of wood in this, such a small space can make it look a little bit smaller. But I really love it. It's like 50s style. Like the chairs are like... Do you know what I mean? Like um, these little mats. Um, I can't remember where we got these from. I've got these little mats. And then obviously um, these are like my little prayer hands. I've got a, this tree I bought last year. It's got a candle in there. Which is quite cool. And then these are the little coasters that Martin got me. The little um giraffe thing so obviously we moved the unit the unit was here and just because of getting this chair out for it to be more comfortable and we've got amelia's toy box thing there we thought right we need to move that down and then i don't know if you can see the state of this wall honestly i'm so angry so there was a little mark on there from martin eating would you believe corn the cob and it squirted out of his mouth and hit the wall and look what he's done like he's just literally i don't know if it's even showing up on camera but honestly so we've gone online to see what paint i i had for this room and luckily i've still got the email so we need to go and get another tin of paint but we'll probably have to paint this whole wall now because you can't just paint a little patch but look at it look at this honestly i'm so mad at him you know when you're like i said to him be careful because you'll be surprised how dirty walls are do you know what i mean i've set up my little nativity um scene that i got from b&m i bought these little tree the little trees not trees leanne get a grip these little houses from dunelm and then i've set the little nativity up there um I, oh i got that little tree didn't i and then these are just little amelia's little cards that she got yesterday she was absolutely spoiled rotten bless her she had such a lovely day though so nice she got lots of new toys yeah she got lots of new toys so yeah she enjoyed playing with that she got a sylvanian family i have to always think when i say that because i always say civilian <laughs> sylvanian family um the large house which is so fancy like it has like little light switches and everything in it um and it's so funny because she's only two and you think oh she's gonna be like she shouldn't really play with little tiny things like that, but she's so like detailed like she likes and she's so like she doesn't put it honestly i can't 
she's an odd little two not odd oh that sounds really mean i mean like she's clever like she doesn't do what normal two-year-olds would do she's like she really sits there and that, that that's her thing and yeah anyhow so one of the one things that i really want to do one of the one things one of the things i really want to do this december is read this book because quite frankly i need a little bit of escapism myself just because i've been very up and down and i feel okay at the moment so um yeah i i've this has been a really strange year for me to be honest with you and i'm still trying to find out the new me because i don't feel like i'm ever going to get the old me back i think she's gone not just because you know i'm older and things like that but i just think just in general life just yeah so i have to try and figure out the new me and what the new me likes and yeah because i i have felt a little bit lost i'm being honest but my channel is so funny because people say oh you're so busy but i don't know how you get time blah 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 but aside from my family who i absolutely adore and i hope that's evident in my videos i don't have anything else going on like i've said this before i'm 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 pretty much it's all about the family and so having my youtube channel is just something for me like as in well it's not because it's something for the family to enjoy once i'm long gone have a little giggle at me or whatever but i'm this is something for me like um having the catch up with you ladies i know i'm a bit rubbish at the moment because yeah i just don't seem to have had five minutes i'm so very grateful for each and every one of you i know i do say that every now and then but i really really truly am and even if like i said you don't there's nothing to say just just put a love heart just so that i know that you've stopped by and reach out if you need to honestly don't suffer in this world alone because there's a lot of lovely kind people there's a lot of wicked horrible people too but we'll weed them ones out and you know move on anyway i just wanted to share because i was saying about how your each each person views christmas and that time completely differently and that's okay but there was actually a quote written in the book by and it was by charlotte bronte right and it really resonated because i'm well let me just read to you and then we'll discuss what the okay so it says life is so constructed that an event does not cannot will not match the expectation and it's so profound because it's so true we put so much emphasis and and focus on perfection if you like or this is going to be the best christmas ever and it's just a day it's just a day like this season's beautiful for 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 me for the reason of everyone seems a little bit happier everyone seems a little bit more friendly you focus on love and connection and all of that but ultimately it is just a day like if you woke up and someone told you it was january you wouldn't know any different do you, do you know what i'm trying to say like don't don't put pressure on yourself that's unrealistic families are mental and <laughs> you can have all intention like it's all lovely and clean and tidy and ha my happy place right now in this lounge and dining room but within half an hour chaos will descend there will be toys everywhere there'll be cups where people have made cups of tea and they're everywhere and so what <laughs> do you know what i mean they'll take their shoes off they won't put them in the right place and they might leave a little splash of toothpaste in the sink and they won't wash up their cups and they don't they don't wipe the side down how i like them to wipe the side down uh, you know this is not me ranting by the way this is just this is just reality this is you know my issue no one's going to remember those things in years to come they're going to remember the time that you spent with them how you made them feel so just love each other intensely 
because we're not promised tomorrow with them. And there's a lot of sadness and heartbreak in the world. And I think we're very quick to judge how people deal with things. But we all deal with things completely differently, don't we? And that's okay. That's what makes the world amazing, is that we're all so different. Even my grandchildren, their personalities are completely different. Sometimes I see such similarities in them. But then other times I'm I'm like, they're so different. They like different things, they like different foods, they like different colours. That's beautiful, that's their personality. I don't want little robots that all do the exact same as you. How boring, I don't want loads of me <laughs> everywhere. I've waffled on for blinking ages and I'm sorry about that, but I just want you all to know that you can impact someone's life, even if you're having a really tough time right now. It's a season and it will pass. And it's really easy to sit on the other side of things and say that. But because I'm sat on the other side of things, I can say that. And I can say to you that sharing that problem, I'm not saying put it on the internet like this nutter, but sharing that problem does help. It really, really does just getting it out of your head because that can play tricks on you sometimes anyhow i'm gonna have my coffee before my little dude turns up and i'll bring you on for day one of vlogmas and we're not going to set any expectations except for just being authentic and i'm going to try my best to entertain you or bring you i don't know what it is that I'm doing to be honest with you I'm just trying to be me and put my little mark on the world um in your homes and I hope that I hope that you enjoy it let's do this thing let's let's do life like we've always done on this channel let's just do it and do it with as much love kindness and grace that we can muster because the world needs a bit of that. We need to be a little bit of light in the dark, dark place, I think. And each and every one of you help me do that. As well as Jesus, obviously. <laughs> right, I will catch up with you in a bit. come for a walk because so I need to get some bits from Sainsbury's so I've just bought a little Z cow I'm just walking through the woods at the back of the house yeah. it's really muddy look probably not ideal when I've got the push chair Okay, so I'm back from the little walk to Sainsbury's. I've got some, a couple of these for Mimi and Zeke, which we're just going to whack in the oven right this second. Um, I put this flavoured, scented, not flavoured, this scented wax melts on last night and they're really, really nice. So I got another pack of those. Um, starting to get low on washing tablets, so picked up these while they were on special offer picked up a nice bubble bath I like this one it's only two pounds so <laughs> um, I picked up this um, I like the fairy fabric and softener and this is the fresh one um, silk tree blossom and jasmine it smells really nice I've got that one 
I picked up some macaroni because I'm doing pasta and hot dogs for the kids tonight and I thought macaroni but might be a nice change. And then I've got the quick cook for lunches for the kids. Picked up some Oreo um, yogurt things for their pudding tonight. That out of the way. Another tin of hot dogs because I've got a tin but they will definitely use both. Um, I got some ice top mince pies because I bought some mince pies the other day and then Martin mentioned these trying these ones so I picked him up then really to try. Picked up a ketchup because we were out. I picked up a sweet pepper stirring pasta sauce because that's what I fancy having for lunch with some grated cheese. These um, are new. Terry's chocolate orange truffles, they sounded really nice. I'm not a massive fan of um, the orange and mint chocolate, like I eat too much of it, but I feel, feel like the truffles are a nice little treat. Um, they were on offer as well, obviously. I picked up some children's cough relief medicine because Zeke and Mimi have a terrible cough at the moment and I'm hoping this is gonna help them to at least be able to eat because they keep having coughing fits and then they're not eating, basically. And then I picked up some sugared ring donuts for a treaty treat for the kids and some jam donuts for a treaty treat for the grown ups. And then I picked up these two. I saw these cushions in Sainsbury's the other week and I fell in love with them. And I just thought, sod it today, even though I was with the push chair, so it's a bit of a stupid thing. But they were reduced, they were half price basically. So they were £7.50. No, they weren't half price, they were only a tenner, I think. But they were down to £7.50 each. Um, and I just really, I thought they were just beautiful. Um, so there's no really other reason. <laughs> I just thought they were beautiful. And I've got a thing about robins. So yeah, I love that. And that, again, it's got a nice little stripe on the back. So that was my little haul from Sainsbury's. Now I better get on and do the, oh, um, and me and JJ have just, switched out the mugs for all the Christmas mugs so we've just switched them all out and um, washed them all up and everything so now we've got chaos I'm gonna sort this out and I'll catch up with you later okay so um the lighting's shocking I'm so sorry <laughs> I'm just doing some dinner the kids have just had um hot dogs and pasta with some grated cheese and I'm just doing I'll just quickly show you I'm going to do some mash, 10 stem broccoli, and then we've got a uh, serrano ham chicken breast. And then take the kids home. Hopefully, I'll get a chance to have a nice bubble bath when I get back. So, I'll show you the dinner when it's all dished up. Well, I won't. I'll, I'll just save all of that. I'm, I was saying to Martin, I think what I'm just turning around because I don't know what the lights are like. I was saying to Martin, I think what I'm going to do is just collate some of the meals that we eat throughout December and just put it all in one video in the new year. And you can see everything we've eaten because I'm not going to have a chance to do shopping hauls individually and um, all of that. So the shopping hauls that I do do, I'll just that I do do. I'll just incorporate into my uh, daily vlogs anyway. Same with the di dinners, but I'll put all the dinners in one big place. Um, that's when you're gonna see that there's 27 <laughs> spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> but anyway, bring it back soon. Okay, so this is the chicken with serrano ham, um, mashed potato and 10 stem broccoli. This is Martin's. This is mine, this is Jamie Lee's, and this is Daniel's. And I can't wait to tuck into it. Okay guys, so as promised, I thought I'd show you the advent calendar that I got Martin. So it is 25 days. So you basically, you get, let me just, I'm just trying to see if there's an image anywhere of what you actually get. Ah, here we go. So that's the colour coding for the days. And then, so what happens is you have these, Martin's going to show you um, when he gets them, but you have these special coffee bags that um, has like a special filter in there. So you pour in your 
the desired amount of water so if you if you don't like a particularly strong coffee then you pour in half the amount of water you brew for four minutes for mild and eight minutes for strong and then you can serve um, two cups of this and what's fantastic is they're actually reusable so once you're done with them you can rinse and refill they're totally reusable and what you get in the menu card um, is a breakdown each day of where where it comes from it's um, taste notes acidity the region literally all details are in there and then if you want to enjoy some your favorite ones afterwards you can go to the brew company brewcompany.com and order more I just thought this was such a unique and such an apt calendar really for Martin. He's not really a chocolate fan. He's a coffee lover. <laughs> so you just pull this um, to open and the first coffee thing will, will be in there that you just slide out. But he will share that with you. So I just wanted to, um, I'll link, if I can, I'll link below. This is not just for Christmas, you could have this any time and try out the different coffees. I just think it's such a lovely gift for somebody who loves coffee. And now I'm going to have a nice bubble bath. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap up today's Vlogmas day one. I think we smashed it, if I'm being honest. I'm really looking forward to seeing where this month takes us, but with no pressure. No pressure to be happy every day, because that's not real life. I will try my hardest to make it a joyful, <laughs> joyful watch. I'm sure we'll all have a laugh and I'm looking forward to sharing some special moments with you guys as well as hopefully doing a live. My goal is to do a live but I will give you notice so that I'm not Billy No Mates on there with no one watching. <laughs> right, I'm going to love and leave you there. And believe it or not, we'll do it all again tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, love you lots. Take care. God bless.